on the campus of VCU in Richmond, Virginia. It's the James Madison Dukes at 20 and 10 against the VCU Rams at 21 and 9. Devon Moore, 6'4", sophomore point guard, out with an injury all of last year. Lobs it inside, a slam dunk by Denzel Bowles. Rodriguez. Here's Skeen on a long jumper. Jamie Skeen. Brandon Rozelle, if he gets going, he can streak three, four, five threes together at a time. Skeen on the steal, the drive, a looper. Got it. The looping one-hander. That's the kind of place that 6-2 guards make. Lobbing it inside. Denzel Burgess, left corner to Seminoff. Here's Julius Wells, three, got it. See the ball knocked away. What they're doing is allowing that baseline to be another defensive player because they're throwing it in too tight. Nixon, three-point shot. Here's Chad Jackson. Plenty of time. Devon Moore rushed it up to the basket and scored. This team turned it over here, down court, Bowles going for a jam again. This time a clean block by Skeen. Recovered, passed in the right corner, and Hitchens! How about that fallaway triple? Wells to Hitchens. Passes in deep, Bowles lays it in, and the foul! BCU with the ball, a steal. Devon Moore with the steal. Moore racing down court against Rozelle, he lays it in. Rodriguez to Burgess, baseline, open jump. Five to shoot. Moore on a runner. Nice play by Devon Moore. Bradford Burgess gets open. Steps up in the lane and lays it in. They've got a one-point lead. Wells steps up. Leans and passes and going. Scores. Three-point lead. Four seconds left. This is Rozell again. Right corner three. Side of the backboard. And the ball grabbed by Bowles. And James Madison has upset VCU on the road. I want to welcome those just joining us here. Opening minute and a half of action. About two minutes now without a point. Sadler. There you go. And running out. Wow. Jules makes the steal. And the exclamation point at the far end. And the soft touch off the glass of the jumper. Jenkins trying to post up the smaller Carter inside in the paint. And how about the body control and strength of Charles Jenkins? Moore has more time than he thinks. Lost the handle, got the lay-in. From Devon Sadler, has been playing such good basketball, he's got to step up and give him some scoring. Well, he's going to get an opportunity for a three-point play. Well, there you go. Way to listen, Devon. Good team defense right there on the rotation. Sadler lost his footing. Jenkins out ahead of the pack. He'll take it himself. Go to work on Johnson. Oh, he got screened off. Great look. Nicely done offensively by the Pride. Count that basket for Carter and a chance at a three-point play. And the guy with the ball, he's got this game totally under control. And Kelleher pays it off at the other end. Yep, and another assist there from Charles Jenkins. You know, any time that they can put the basketball, put the ball in the basket, they're going to win game. And the tip follow for Sadler. Who... And because of all that, there's a very good chance that Mo Cacera will be picking up some hardware as the CAA Coach of the Year as well. Now there's your final. A 19-point home win for Hofstra as they dispatch Delaware and lay claim to the number two overall spot of the CAA. Old Dominion defeated the Tribe six times in a row. We'll find out what happens today. And Bazemore, another steal. His 70th of the year. Bazemore can't finish, but Hassell does. James thought about attacking instead. He gets the pass and knocks down the three. So Darius James on senior day comes up big. Boatner's three. He's got his second of the ball game. Iliadis pulls the trigger on the three. McDowell, Cooper ran at him. Didn't matter. McDowell knocks down the three. It helps the athleticism, experience, and strength of this Monarch club. Great entry pass from Finney. And Hassell finishes again. He's got 15. Floater from Britt. Pretty 
shot by the freshman. I, I like their freshman. That's what they want before that defense is set. Yeah, Carter knocks down his third three of the afternoon. Second half here. The Tribe getting it done. A two-point field goal for McDowell. He's got 12. Their only lead was when it was 3-2 very early in the ballgame. Baseball attacks and scores. Britt got it. Britt tries to answer. And now Delancey to Iliadis. Textbook fast break. Rum may have gotten away with one there. And then baseball on the rejection. Carter turns. What a sequence. Oh, my goodness. Carter with 16. They're going to the tournament as the number two seed. And it sets the stage for what should be an outstanding weekend of basketball next weekend at the Richmond Coliseum. Ola Minion wins it. Follow all the action of CAA basketball online at caasports.com.